How's it going everyone? My name is Ruga Rebel, and we're going to try something a little different today. What's going on everyone? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make fried chicken in an air fryer. Now you're probably thinking, why wouldn't I just fry it in oil like normal people do? Well, the simple answer to that is, I suck at frying chicken, which is why we're going to cook it in the air fryer, and when this chicken comes out, it's gonna look so good. And all you guys have to do is sit back, follow the steps, and if you follow exactly as I do, you're gonna have golden fried chicken in no time. So let's get into it. Also, I will not be personally making the chicken, that will be my human counterpart. We'll call him Mr. Chef. He's shy. Okay, first things first, you want to make sure you wash the chicken to make sure there isn't any bacteria on it. After you've done that, you can start seasoning your chicken. You don't necessarily have to season your chicken if you don't want to, but I like my chicken spicy, so we are absolutely seasoning this bird. You can make whatever seasoning concoction you want, but for my seasoning, I like to use chili powder, cayenne powder, paprika, onion powder, Tony Satri's Cajun powder, and last but not least, the nectar of the gods. <laughs> Garlic salt. The way I season my chicken, I don't really use measurements because it's kind of super hard to mess up seasoning. So if you're like me, you just eyeball it. Plus, if you're trying to make it super spicy like me, you don't really care how much spice you put in it. Make sure you give the chicken a good mix so that way every inch of that chicken is covered in seasoning. Now that you got your chicken setting in your seasoning, you're going to want to let it marinate. So you could either Ziploc it and let it sit for about 5 hours in the fridge, or you can go right ahead onto the next step, which for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and do that. Next, you're going to want to get about two eggs for your batter and crack them into a bowl for the chicken to soak in. This is for when you put the chicken in the flour and the flour will have something to stick to. Make sure before you take the chicken out of the batter, you let most of the egg drain back into the bowl. You don't want too much batter on your chicken when you put in the flour, otherwise it's going to make the flour look all moist and gross. So for your flour, you have the option to season that too. I already seasoned it with the same ingredients I used to season the chicken, plus I added some cornstarch to my flour to give my fried chicken an even better crunch. So all you gotta do is put your chicken in the flour, give it a good shake, and when you take it out, it should look just like this. Make sure when you take it out, you just give it a bit of a pat down to get rid of any excess flour you don't need on the chicken. If it looks like this, you're on the right path. Finally, you're gonna take your chicken, put it on the tray, and put it in the air fryer, and set it to about 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Also, make sure you give your chicken a flip after 15 minutes so it cooks evenly on both sides. Mmm, it looks so good! Hey, let's cut this bad boy open and see how it looks on the inside! Oh god! Well everyone, I got some very serious business to attend to, so if you like this video, please give it a like, and also leave a comment on what you thought of this video, and if you want to see more in the future, and don't forget to subscribe for more content as well. I'll be back in another video heading towards your plate, see what I did there, and I cannot wait to eat with you there. Bon appetit!